The Cote Treasury launched on the 1st of February and it's only a day and a half later and there is already 132 million Cote locked up in the Treasury, so about $39 million. And we are expecting another 100 million Cote or so to come across from the staking 3.0 program. At the time of recording, the current max APY that you can get on the treasury is 190% which is pretty unbelievable. In this video I just want to explain a couple of things which I think need to be explained a little bit better when making a deposit into the treasury such as the multiplier, the health factor, what happens when you get actually liquidated, as well as how much the Cody price needs to actually fall before it puts you into a liquidation event. I have also done the maths on this health factor. It is very important to understand when you are trying to decide on what level of multiplier to go with when you are depositing in the treasury. When you understand how this health factor works, you will be in a much better position to try and decide at what level to go with. I also have worked out the percentage price decrease that would cause a liquidation for each different multiplier, so try and stick around for that at the end. So when you try and make a deposit into the treasury, the default option will always be a 1x multiplier and unlocked. This is essentially depositing all of the Cody that you own and no more. When you do this, you are going with the risk free option and you will never have to worry about any liquidations or anything like that. For anybody who is unsure about what a liquidation is, basically it is losing everything that you deposit into the treasury. So for people who go with this 1x option and unlocked you will receive a lower APY because you are taking much less risk. For example if I go with 1x and unlocked here at the moment it is giving me an APY of around 24%. I can however increase this more by locking my Cody into the treasury for a longer time period so that just means I cannot withdraw it for up to 30, 60, 90 or 120 days. So if I select 120 days now that would give me an APY of about 48% and that is still with the 1x multiplier which is risk free. When you choose the 2x option for example it is like depositing double the amount of Cody that you actually have in your wallet. So the return you get in that instance is obviously higher so if I go for the 2x option I'm going to get an APY of 95%. So for example if you had 1000 Cody and decided to go with a 2x multiplier it is the equivalent of depositing 2000 Cody. If you go with any other multiplier than 1x then you are going to have to constantly keep an eye on your health factor. This health factor will basically tell you how close or far away you are from a liquidation event. The higher the multiplier you choose, the lower the health factor is when you start off. So if I choose a multiplier of 2x, my health factor starts off at 2. If I choose a 3x multiplier, my health factor starts off at 1.5. And if I choose a 4x multiplier, my health factor starts off at 1.33. When this health factor drops below 1.3, you are going to get a warning basically saying that you need to keep an eye on your health factor that you are in risk of liquidation and when it actually falls below a score of 1 your deposit will be liquidated in total. So it's very important between the levels of 1.3 and 1 for a health factor to keep an eye on it and deposit more Cody if you need to try and keep your deposit from being liquidated. Depositing more Cody will basically increase your health factor more again. What happens if your deposit gets liquidated is it gets kept in the treasury and shared around as rewards for other users. You do get to keep a hold of any rewards that you have earned to date, but it will obviously stop earning any more rewards because you don't have a deposit anymore. Let's now have a closer look at how this health score is actually calculated. If you understand this, you will be better able to make your decision on how much risk you want to take. This formula here might look a bit complicated, but it's actually very easy. So it's essentially the multiplier that you choose divided by the multiplier minus one, multiplied by the price of Cody at the time when you deposited your Cody into the treasury, divided by the latest market price of Cody. So I have basically just recreated this formula here on the side. If anybody actually wants to use it, I can drop it into a Google file and leave the link below. So let me know if you need it. So basically, when you start out with your deposit into the treasury, the price that you deposited at and the current price are going to be the exact same. So you're going to start off with a health factor of 2 for a multiplier of 2x, a health factor of 1.5 for 3x, and a health factor of 1.33 for a 4x multiplier as we went through there a while ago but as the current price of Cody goes up and down so let's say the current price of Cody goes up to say 0.36 USD as you can see here now my health factor has improved it's gone from 2 to 2.32 
from 1.5 to 1.74 and from 1.33 to 1.55 for each of the different multipliers. But let's say the price of Koti decides to fall and drops down to 28 cent USD. At this level, the health factor for the person with a 2x multiplier is down to 1.81. For a person with a 3x multiplier it is down to 1.35 and for a person with a 4x multiplier it is down to 1.2. So it is getting closer to that level of 1.0 where you would be liquidated. At that point this person with a 4x multiplier will be getting a warning that they have to potentially have to deposit more Koti soon to try and keep their position open. Basically also what I have done here is I have calculated how much the price of Koti will need to fall from the time when you actually deposit it to actually cause a liquidation event. So if you go with the 2x multiplier option and the price of Koti falls 50% then that will cause a liquidation. If you go with the 3x multiplier the price would have to fall 33% for you to go into liquidation and if you go with the 4x multiplier the price would have to fall 25% from the price which you deposited at to cause a liquidation. So I think that's a potential better way to try and look at the risk of each of the different levels. So if you're going with a 2x multiplier you're hoping that the price of Cody doesn't obviously fall more than 50% and you're still good. But it definitely gets a lot more riskier with the 4x multiplier. Because how often do we see 25% swings in the price of any crypto? So that is pretty much it from my explanation today on this. If anybody has any more questions or anything that I might have skipped over. Please let me know in the comment section. Uh, one other thing that I didn't mention here as well is. If you decide to lock up your Koti for a number of days, say your 30 days or 60 days or 90 days or 120 days, if you decide to withdraw them before the end of that lockup period, you will actually end up losing any rewards that you earn. So you're better off if you do actually lock up your Koti to try and stick out the lockup period. But other than that, thanks very much for watching the video today. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well.